Christoph as a person was a very shy man, very humble man, um, in a funny way, a very ordinary person. He was uh, laconic, he was reserved, um, he shrugged a lot, he didn't really expose himself a lot, to be honest, um, but very, very clear and precise in his thinking. Um, he was a little overwhelmed, I think, by the success that came his way as an individual because he became extremely successful. He became one of the most important directors in the world. And um, you would see him in Cannes and you know, he would have a film competition. Um, but I think Christoph just was, he still remained the person he was before he became famous. And I really admired that about him. None of this fame went to his head. Uh, he just wanted to make his own films and he wanted to make them the way he, without any real compromise, you know, the way he envisioned them. And I think he had a real pure sense of cinema, a real pure sense of, of who and what he was as an individual. He always struck me as somebody who knew he, who he was. And um, a little maybe suspicious of the world, and I think that's probably natural from that generation who had grown up in that environment. Um, but still at the same time, very, very warm and open man. Huge love of people and I think a real understanding of their complexities, uh, who and what they were as, as people. What I loved about Polish cinema, and it wasn't just Kieślowski, I fell in love with Polish cinema through Wajda and Zanussi, is I think the moral dilemma at the core of so many of their films, um, the choices we make as individuals, the compromises we make as individuals, the moral code under which we all attempt to live our lives, and of course sometimes we don't live up to those ideals. And I think that, you know, in, in Kieślowski's work, I think there was very much that sense of um, an absolute sense of right and wrong, but at the same time, totally understanding that normal people can't with, live within those parameters. They're very, very human. And I love that tension in the work. At the end of the day, it's a director's medium when it comes to the European cinema. And I'm not sure that that's exactly the case in, in North America. I think in North America, it's a collaborative medium. Producers have a lot of say, scriptwriters, it's, it's, they assemble a product that they're trying to disseminate in the world. And I think that European filmmakers is very much about an individual view of the world, individual expression. They're trying to uh, make sense of the world, but in a very personal way. And I think the personal nature of, of European cinema also kind of lends an intellectual um, the veneer to it. I think filmmakers are, are exploring deep issues of the day and um, they're not as, as concerned about entertaining a general public. They're more concerned about um, making films that speak probably to themselves and their friends and if it connects with a larger audience, that's fine. That's not ultimately why, they, why, why they're making their work. And there's a real stylistic sense of play in European cinema. I think that a North American cinema tends to be a little bit more uniform, a little bit more cut from the same cloth that it looks the same. And what I loved about European cinema is just the diversity, the difference. Um, filmmakers playing with the rules and grammar of cinema, doing very, very different things. And um, yeah, using it as a form of personal expression, almost like a, a novelist would write a book. <laughs> Yeah, I traveled to Poland a lot, and to be honest, um, part of it was a curiosity about seeing Poland because of my love of Polish cinema, but to be honest, what really took me there was uh, a girlfriend, and she had, um, she was a, a, a Canadian, but both her parents were Polish, but she was going to film school in, in um, Katowice, and she worked on the program that brought uh, Krzysztof to, to Poland that year, 1989. So, uh, it was just kind of, you know, somebody I, I was in love with at the time, and I spent time with her, and so I wanted to go to, uh, you know, see where she was living and so she took me all over Poland, the Missourian Lakes, the North, Warsaw, Katowice, Zakopane. So I've seen yeah a lot of Poland. <laughs>